Are you tired of getting in a shower and no matter how much you turn that knob or let that water run to get hot, it never gets hot enough? Well, today we're gonna fix that problem right now. Let's go. So how we're gonna fix this problem is we're gonna unscrew this handle and there's a hole right under here that I'm gonna stick this alley wrench. So the size alley wrench that I'm using is a three by 32. So, I'm gonna stick this Check under here. Link below. And I'll kind of show you a little bit more detail on how to do it. But you stick this down here and then you will catch a screw and then you turn it the opposite direction, which in my case would be clockwise. And it go, it immediately comes loose. Just a couple turns and it's, it comes loose just like that. So the hole is right here. The hole is right under the handle. Right, and you gotta fill in there. You gotta put this alley wrench in there. But not only do you gotta put it through this hole, you have to find a hole in here, which is where the actual screw is. And it's right there. So that screw stays in there. Do not, un do not unscrew it all the way out because then it's gonna be a pain trying to get it back in there. So you take this off, take the handle off, and you're halfway there already. So. After you take the handle off, this little cover right here, it's, it unscrews, so you unscrew this cover. Once you unscrew this cover, you take this little piece off if you have it on, on yours, and this is where all the magic happens. This is where the magic happens right here. This red, for me, red plastic ring or covering, and then this white piece right here. Most time when you open it up, it's not gonna be turned all the way. If you look on the outer ring of this red uh, plastic piece, it has a label. It says cooler and hotter. So we wanna turn it, turn ours counterclockwise to get it hotter. So in order to do that, we're gonna pull out this plastic red piece and it comes out very easy. Pull it out and then you turn it. So you can't turn it past this white piece right here. It pretty much stops you from getting it too hot. So you wanna turn it all the way until you can't turn it anymore without being able to push it back in. And so once you get it all the way turned, like I said, counterclockwise, once you get it all the way turned, you push it all the way in, and now you have turned the knob to its hottest setting. And so that is it. Check Once out you do that, and then you take the covering, put this back on, turn it, of course, clockwise. And then you just put the knob back on. I would line it up already before I even put it on there so I won't have to fill around. So I got it in place, and then I put it back. And then I turn it, turn it back counterclockwise and it locks in, and that's it. When I tell you it's hot and steamy in here, it is hot and steamy. Hopefully you get the same results. So hopefully you got some value out of this video and that solved your problem. And if it did, make sure you click the like, subscribe, and bell notification to get the latest HE content.